It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. Weather warming up a little bit as we move toward the end of the week. Possibility of some scattered light rain Thursday night. The next good rain seems to be on Saturday as the weekend begins. And more cold air next week, so let's get in there and talk about things. Beginning to see a southwest flow aloft developing west of the state, but today things will stay quiet. Another cold January morning. Not as cold as yesterday. Looks like the cold spot on the board is Gadsden. They've got 25. Temperatures around freezing for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston. We'll expect a high back uh, around 50 in most spots today. Around the nation, again, uh, hard to find any warmth. Another shot of cold air due in here next week, probably colder than this air mass. Here's a watch warning map. Got some scattered winter weather problems in the western states. Heavy snows in the Sierra Nevadas of California. Flash flooding possible for the California coast, but of course they'll take that rain. If you're traveling to Arizona for the Alabama Clemson National Championship game Monday of next week, uh, be aware there are winter storm warnings in the mountains north of Phoenix up around Flagstaff. A lot of snow likely there through Friday. And for those traveling to Dallas-Fort Worth for the Jacksonville State Championship game Saturday, no big issues there. The weather uh, mostly cool and dry through Saturday. Check the rain for the next five days. Again, good to see the numbers out in uh, California. Around here, this is suggesting one half to one inch. And uh, the bulk of that uh, probably Saturday, as you'll see. Let's walk you through the dailies for the next 10 days or so. This is today at noon off the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06Z run. And this is at 500 millibars, big trough coming into California. A lot of rain out west, snow in the mountains in the western states. But around here, things are quiet. We'll call it partly sunny with a high around 50 today. Tomorrow, a surface low is located east of Amarillo with rain over much of Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri. And that rain tries to move in here tomorrow night. This is midnight tomorrow night, but uh, it just doesn't show much. Uh, the moisture is so limited, it looks like some spots might not even get enough rain to measure. We'll still mention a chance of rain tomorrow night, but it's certainly no big deal. Friday, I would say a mostly cloudy day and a pretty mild day. Good chance we see low 60s. It'll feel pretty good after this recent cold snap. But here comes more rain on Saturday. A uh, surface low is east of St. Louis. Snow in the cold sector from about Kansas City up to uh, Green Bay and Madison. Chicago will be kind of on the edge of that. But for us, just rain. Now, with the surface low so far north, uh, this might uh, suggest maybe some thunder on Saturday. Uh, no, no severe weather, but a good chance of rain, possibly some thunder as the weekend begins. Sunday, the bulk of this significant rain is out, but the day will be cloudy. We're going to turn cold. I could see falling temperatures will probably drop to the 40s during the day. And it could be a touch of light rain or drizzle, maybe a few flurries up in Tennessee. Kind of a raw, cold day. There's a big 1032 high begins to push in from the north. And this is Monday. You see how the pattern looks pretty cold for the continental United States. And for us, we're cold and dry. We might have a hard time getting out of the 30s, uh, although the the... Most of the guidance is showing highs in the 40s. I've got a high of 39 for now. Often the models can't handle the cold air very effectively. Whatever, it's going to be a cold and dry day. These are the anomalies, temperature anomalies on Monday. The colder values are obviously up around Chicago and Green Bay. Tuesday, cold and dry. 20s and 40s, 20s during the morning, 40s during the day. Again, no evidence of 30s and teens at this point. Had some concern we might see that, but uh, no evidence for now. Wave in the Gulf way, way south of here. No impact here. A week from today, Wednesday the 13th, same thing. Cold and dry, 20s and 40s. What they're toward the end of the forecast period. This is Friday the 15th, and that looks, again, cold and dry. A little wave off to the west. We do note the European shows a wave passing through here Thursday of next week, the 14th, with a chance of rain mainly over the southern half of the state. Snow fans, what about the snow depth? This is coming off the European uh, Friday the 15th, showing nothing here. Again, no evidence of any winter mischief despite these cold shots so far, but the winter is young. We almost always have one or two threats here every season. 
Arctic Oscillation staying strongly negative. And as we often mention, that opens the door for air to be flushed out of the Arctic region. And this is the North Atlantic Oscillation, which stays negative mostly. And again, that favors the colder air dropping down into the eastern half of the United States. But everybody's going to catch the cold air, obviously, in this pattern. These are temperatures off the uh, ensemble for the next uh, 10 days or so. And again, you can see the cool down next week. And I wouldn't be shocked if it's a bit colder than that on Monday and Tuesday. But thankfully, no uh, you know, brutal cold with highs in the teens and lows below 10, anything, nothing like that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.